Are you struggling with your long irons? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you three of my favorite tips to help you with this area of your game. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here on the range today at Junalup Resort talking all about this right here. This is a long iron, those clubs in your bag that you really tend to struggle with, the striking leads to a lot of frustration for players, those low lofted clubs where you're trying to get a little bit more distance but very challenging sometimes to hit the ball where you want. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please go down below, click subscribe and click that bell so you get notified of every video coming out. And also, if you're looking for something a little bit more personalized, I am available for online swing analysis and also have a premium video library over on kggolf.com. But in today's lesson, we are talking all about those long irons. And one of the biggest frustrations that players face is their understanding of why it is more challenging than a seven iron or a nine iron. Those clubs where you seem to get it a little bit more often than these long ones. I've got myself a four iron right here, and this is something that a lot of players struggle with. And one of the big reasons being is they are longer, they are lighter, and they are less lofted. So therefore, when you swing it, you are naturally going to swing it faster. And with more speed, there is more room for error. Meaning if your face is slightly open or closed, instead of a slightly glancing blow, well, it can turn into a big glancing blow. And unfortunately, three degrees here is in the trees out there. So we need to have a bit of a system and a structure of what we're going to do with these long irons to ensure that we're getting the most out of our game. So I'm gonna give you three tips. The first of these is all about stance width. Stance width is key. The main reason being, if I stand too wide, what happens is I don't have much control over the bottom of my swing. The wider I stand, the more likely I'm gonna sway back and sway through, and that really affects what's called the low point of the golf swing, or where the club comes in and strikes the ground. Very important to notice that. So what do we need to do in regards to our stance width? Now, most players are under the assumption that with a longer iron, they need to stand a lot wider, but you actually don't. What you need to do is you need to ensure that you've got some sort of reference of comfort for something like a seven iron, and then make incremental changes as a result. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up with this golf club, however you would normally, and we're not really gonna to worry too much about ball position, that's tip number two, but we're gonna set up and we're gonna get our toes flared out for stability, and we're gonna get a feeling that we're equally balanced between our toes and our heels. Now, if you close your eyes, you should feel that you're able to juggle your weight between your left and your right foot. Now, what you'll find is that a general template for stance width is to get the ankles underneath the armpits, right? So the center of the ankles underneath your armpits. You can just use that golf club like this to drop it down and that can give you a bit of a reference for what you're looking for. So with a shorter club, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that back foot in a little bit, right? And with a longer club, you're gonna bring it out a little bit, but it is only incremental. It's only enough until you feel balanced. Now, this is the thing. If you have some sort of specific template and reference for stance width, it might be useful in a perfect scenario. The grass is great, there's no wind, there's no trouble. But as soon as you get to a slightly undulating lie, well, that's thrown out the window anyway. So you need to be a little bit more versatile with your stance width and your ball position to have a better understanding of exactly how to play the game when you're out on the course, rather than just trying to create a perfect swing in a controlled environment just like this. So when we set up to it, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find what feels like our natural balance point. So equally balanced between our toes and our heels, and we can actually juggle our weight between our left and our right foot. Now, if we tend to go too wide, it starts to feel like we're a bit of a sumo wrestler here, and it's very hard to kind of find your balance. And too narrow, we start to feel a little bit uneasy. But general reference, if we can get our ankles underneath our armpits, that'll be good enough. From there, ensuring that our toes are flat out, tip number two is all about ball position. Now, a lot of players are also under the assumption that they need to move the ball a lot further forward for a long iron. But the problem is, is when they look down at this club with a less amount of loft, they're always trying to subconsciously help this thing up in the air. But when you're trying to help this up in the air, what that does is that tends to get your upper body tilting back behind the low point or that first point of contact with the ground will tend to be too far behind as well. And then you'll hit the fat shots and the thin shots. So what is the ideal ball position for a four iron, for a seven iron, for a nine iron? Well, it's as simple as this. If we use our base reference of ankles underneath armpits, and then from there, we have a comfortable club head distance between the inside of your front foot and the location of the ball. Well, that there is where your ball position needs to be for nearly every single club when the ball's down on the ground. Now, the appearance of the ball position will change. When I get a shorter club, I'm gonna bring that back foot in a little bit, which you can see, 
now makes it look like it's a little bit further back. And when I get a longer club, I'm gonna bring it out a little bit, which makes it look like it's a little bit further forward. However, in relation to this front foot, well, then it stays relatively the same. Now, there's a little bit more complicated explanation to that in regards to controlling the bottom of the swing, but let's just keep this nice and simple. Ankles underneath, armpits, toes flared out, a comfortable club head inside that front heel. And that's very important to understand. So we've got our stance width. We've got our good ball position here. The last thing is all about concept. Why do players struggle to hit this four iron, but they might be able to hit the seven and the nine really well? One of the biggest reasons being is when they get these longer clubs in their hand, they simply just try and hit the thing harder. As soon as you do that, thinking that you need more speed, well then all of a sudden it brings in unnecessary risk, unnecessary error that you don't need in your golf game. So there's a little mental strategy that I want you to employ. Let's call it a trick as such, is that when you grab something really long in your hand, I want you to treat it very much so like one of those short clubs. So I've got a four iron in my hand, but I'm gonna swing this just like a short iron. And when I swing it like a short iron, I'm just going to imagine it is a nine iron. We're gonna to go to the extreme here, not a seven, we're gonna swing it like a nine. So I'm gonna set up here and I'm gonna have a practice swing like a nine iron. Nice and smooth, felt nice and relaxed. That was great. So then when I go do it again, and I'm gonna step into the ball, I'm gonna simply hit this like an eye-eye. Now, the thing is, when it comes to using these longer clubs, they are designed to go to the distance. You do not need to force them. They're built with the length and the loft and the weight to ensure that it does go the distance you're trying to achieve. You don't need to try and force it to go to the distance. So there you have it, you've got your three tips. We've got our stance, ankles underneath the armpits. We've got our ball position, in which we're looking to get a comfortable club head inside that lead foot. And then finally, you've got the concept of understanding that when we swing the golf club, we're looking to get it swinging, just like a nine iron. Those three tips will help you get those longer irons a little bit more crisp and clean off the club face, help you get a little bit more loft up in the air, and help you shoot some lower scores as a result. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all, please ask me below. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.